My name is Randy Thompson, 19 years old. I am the eldest of three, and I came to FBC from my friend Joshua, and it was more so like God guided God guided me to him and led me to this church. I, I didn't decide to go to this church myself. It was more so a message from God. Instead of ignoring it, I took it. My Christian life has been a lot of ups and downs. It's been, it's been a lot of trials and tribulations. And in the beginning, it's it was definitely it was definitely more so worldly than Christian. But at the end of this year, I definitely started to teeter more towards Christ. My baptism day yeah, is nervous, but bad, bad, bad. Boy, it's going to play, but not even doing it. But I say, man, I already tell here, yeah, I already tell all my small group people, I say, I have to do it now. I can't back out, you know, because I am out of my word. I can't back out. So it was it was nerve wracking. But at the end of the day, probably it was probably one of the best decisions I made in my life. And, it's be and, it's the and it was the best decision I made this year. It was more so thinking of the influence I have on other people and just for the benefit of my spiritual health and letting the people of FPC know and God know that I was serious about this life that I chose. Since I was baptized, it feels as if, you know, I had a target on my back. I was aimed, I was aimed for and I just had to kind of understand that and I expected that going into into that because every time I would you know get closer to God it would be like something was halting me or something would try to make me sin so I know the fact that I took this big leap towards God I was going to get attacked more and more and I was going to get ridiculed and you know everybody's going to say hey he was a he was a Christian or you know, you don't supposed to do these things, but I just I just told him like, yeah, I'm a Christian, I don't follow God, but I'm still kind of building the foundation to that. You know, everything is baby steps. Small group is the brothers and sisters that I've been searching for since I decided to follow the to follow God more than the world. And when Josh told me about it. I was like, oh man, I gotta go there. If I ain't going to church, I ain't go there. Cause it's it's tough to find people your age or close to your age that are battling with the same things and trying to help the same goals and desires to learn about God and love God and incorporate God in their lives. And small group really helped me with being consistent when it came to God. If I didn't read my Bible, if I didn't read my Bible this week, at least I know I was going to small group. When I didn't have a ride, I walked to small group. When I didn't have, you know, when small group didn't happen, boy, it's hard, boy. Boy, it's hard, because I was like, what a sick. But small group really was a big part of my life, you know. Leah, Mikey, all of them, they really... It really made me feel like I wasn't just a new person, you know. When I first came there, it was, you know, the whole introducing thing, but it was like, I already been there. When it comes to being a 19-year-old, it's a lot of things that, you know, you're young. You know, people say, you're young, you know, live this, you're only, you're only 19 once and yada yada, you know, but for me, I look at it like I look at it like this when you're 19 that's yeah that's your young stage but that's also your foundation and the decisions you make when you're this kind this age is the decisions you kind of that, that'll kind of lead you towards the decisions you make later on in life and I think that that helped me a lot 
from the, the things that I experienced to make these decisions, to make, you know, God the number one priority in my life.